Okay, for those of you who have a uh, Logitech MX 1000, one thing you'll find on the website is that you cannot replace the battery. But I'm going to show you how to replace the battery. How to take apart this particular mouse and where to get the battery at. Now the interesting thing is this is an old mouse. It's been around a long, long time. Okay, uh, This one's the X20. Uh, the, the MX Laser 1000 would also be uh, the same for the battery. Uh, so whichever one you've got here, uh, you can you can do this with. Uh, a lot of people like this mouse because it's a very heavy, very durable mouse, so they don't want to get rid of it. But when the battery dies, you're toast. You can't do anything about it. Let me show you how to fix that. First thing you need to do is go up on uh, eBay. It's the only place I've found them. And locate this particular battery. It's the L-LB2. Now, if you go to Logitech's site, they say the battery cannot be replaced at all. Just forget it. It's done. Go buy a new mouse. However, this is the battery that actually fits this mouse. It's also known as the CS-LB2RC. So you might want to look under either one of those uh, part numbers uh, to find it. This one I ordered from the UK. It was shipped out of Hong Kong. So it went around the world to get here. Uh, about $20, $22 for the battery. Uh, so you really have to consider, you know, do I want to replace the battery or buy a new mouse? But if you love the mouse, this will probably give you four, four years more of mouse time on your MX-1000. Okay, the first thing to do is, you notice know, the battery indicator is on, okay, which is still working, but this one's dying very fast, so that's why I'm replacing it. Turn the mouse off, use the mouse switch, or the, the switch in the back on the mouse. Small Phillips head, uh, I'm using these... Uh, small tools I got from Sears here. You can see the pads are here on this mouse but they have fallen off here and you can make some new pads if you want. You can use one of these uh, wow pads, cut it up on the side and put that in there. That'll make a really slick point. I don't worry about it too much. First, you have to take the pad off if it's here. Just use a regular screwdriver and pull it off. Okay, drop your screw off. Oh. I believe there's four total on this particular mouse. One must have fallen out a long time ago because it hides right behind here. And it's gone. You can punch through this if you want, like I did here. There's a one screw here. Just punch through this paper and back it off. Now this one probably won't come out. Yeah, it's fine. It can stay in there. Then use flathead. And we want to come over to the side where this button is. Okay. And you can see how much this mouse is worn down. I mean, I've worn the... Uh, sort of sticky grip off it down to the smooth part and I find it's better to start back here in the back and just start working your way around there's one latch over here and we need to find it once you pop it right there okay the mouse is gonna come apart pretty easy now never been apart it, it probably is gonna be a little tough to pull out but you pull it out carefully and there's going to be two wires set up here a ribbon cable which is an information cable and the battery which is here which you'll see in this yellow black and red uh, wire going in here a um, couple reference points here this is where it gets its power on the back when you put it in the charger transfers it in these little brass connectors up to the circuit uh, the lasers back here the buttons that actually click the mouse are right there the wheel is here okay now if you go in here and you might want to take this flathead screwdriver and dig around. I assure you, whether you've had a pet or not uh, in your house, you are going to find fur. And it's just it's pretty disgusting. But you have to get in here and you, know, you might want to take out some of this nice hair and all sorts of things that have gotten in this mouse to make it a little, little nicer and cleaner. And you can clean that out. Uh, you also notice up here that there's a piece of plastic. It's really kind of an odd little tower. And what that is, that actually goes up here to the lights. So when this is on, I'm going to turn on, I don't want you to do this. When I turn on, these lights will show how much battery power it is. And that actually, when you put it together, transfers up into here, into this little version of their fiber optics, which is nothing more than a piece of plastic that travels up that way. Really simple. Okay, I'm going to turn that back off. I'm going to remove the battery connector right here. I'm just going to grab it as best I can. Don't grab it up high. You may rip the wire out. 
and work it back and forth until it pops off. Just, just, just snaps in place. I'm going to leave the ribbon cable in place. I'm going to turn it over so that I've got it like this. The battery is behind here. It's a very large battery, actually. It's not small, and it's held in place by two screws, which we're going to take out. And it has a little guide here. See this little plastic guide? You need to come up over that. Bam. Okay, and it'll come off. It's got a little break in it already, so don't worry about that. You didn't break it. That's just the way it is. Okay, and it just sits on a piece of rubber. And it's got another guide over here. So pull both those out. Now this one, as you can see, had a little piece of uh, foam, uh, double-sided sticky tape to hold this battery in place. But otherwise, it, it moves around a little. Okay, and just comes right out. That's it. There's nothing else really holding it in there. And we're seeing it's a little. If you look at this one. It's a slight bit smaller. Okay, but has the same connector. Okay, so we're gonna turn it over. We're gonna put that in. And then I'm gonna take some Gorilla Tape. I'm gonna bend it over like so. And I'm gonna make a little sticky point. Now you can use some double face tape, some double velcro, whatever you want to use. And the main point is just to keep this thing from moving around in here. Like it was. Everything should snap back into place. And that little bit of sticky tape is going to hold this so that it doesn't rattle or move around too much. Our screws back in. Now, reverse the procedure here. Pick up your mouse. Try not to grab too much of the IC stuff up here. Make sure you're not putting your hands on that. Plug it back in. There we go. So remember the way the yellow wire goes so you know it's on there. If you want to test it at this point, you can snap it on real quick, although the battery might be dead, so it might not, it might not work until you charge it. And I really don't want you running it until you charge it, but I'm going to snap it on here. There you go. Power. See that? So that was successful. But we don't want to run it at, a, at really any length of time until we get it fully charged. Put the battery back together now. There's a little snap point here, okay? If you can see that. That's really the only one. There's no, none on this side. So, again, where the wheel is, or where the little side clicker is, you want to be on that side. Start with this side first. Once you get it in here, you want this side on first and then snap. Boom. There it goes. Right in place. Perfect. Now if you've taken the feet off, in other words you peel them off uh, with a, um, like a regular screwdriver, you, you just basically get underneath them like this to get to those screws. You just come underneath here and pop. Push that off. There's a little bit of sticky, double sticky tape on there. You can buy at the store, hardware store, whatever. You can get some of that. Don't recommend you really use glue unless you use like a little fine amount of silicone. A really strong glue, you're not going to be able to get those back off. So you don't want to do that. And lastly, you want to do these two top ones. In your case, there's going to be one here. In my case, there isn't. So I'll let it go. It's not going to hurt it. It's already snapped in place. Now, before we turn it on or anything, we're going to put it in the charger. Okay. So... We're going to take the mouse, we're going to stick it down in the charger, and we're going to notice it starts charging. Now, let it charge up all the way before you use it. Let it go all the way until it stops. Then turn the mouse back on, and you should be good for four years, five years out, depending on the quality of that battery you just bought. But that's how to fix the MX-1000 uh, laser mouse. Put a new battery even in it, even though you shouldn't be able to. That's a good little fix if you want to keep your mouse.